Budget update. We're really trying here. We're trying. Do you feel calm? Yeah, because they changed my pants. We are going to a little museum. Today I ha am doing a service project. Loves his mama. Don't you, Mossy? Mm, I love mama, huh? Yeah, he's like, yeah. Oh, baby. Here, dear, her one time, me, man. Why? She's the more playful one. Um, she's always grabbing at people's feet and toes and ankles, and she's usually like causing trouble, making mess. Huh? And yeah. This one is just like. And that he's yeah, thing. usually more chill. He's that really one more chill. To the I'm brushing out. You're his brushing out his whiskers, huh? Oh yeah, you like that? You like to have a little <laughs> treatment tear, little dude? He just makes all the litter go out of the thing. <laughs> Every day we clean you and you and make a mess again, huh? Yeah. Morning, buddy. You ready to go to the museum? Don't eat that. Don't eat that. Don't eat that. <laughs> When you brush your eyelashes, they do. Yeah. Do you feel calm? Yeah, because they changed my pants. <laughs> Good morning, Seekers. I'm glad you found us today. <laughs> That's Jasper for you. <laughs> It's Monday, it's Science Day, and today we are going to a little museum. We didn't even know this museum existed. It's a tiny little museum. It's about 15 minute drive from our house. It's pretty close. And we decided it's really cheap. So we decided we're gonna go check it out this morning. I was gonna give you guys an update this afternoon about the budgeting, how it's going, but I'm not sure how that's gonna go um, because I totally forgot that we actually made an appointment for Phineas to have his teeth evaluated for braces I don't know if they will like want to or be able to put the braces on today or if it's just a consultation if it's just a consultation we will be able to talk to you guys about the budget if they're getting braces if he's getting braces on that might be a different story. So yeah, that's our plan for today. But you all know, best laid plans and everything, they don't always go the way we plan them around here, especially if you're new here, you may not realize Hide and Seek is a family vlog detailing the crazy lives of a family with nine children. Yes, they all still live here. The oldest is 23 and the youngest is four. That'd be the youngest. And our mission and goal in life and the goal for this channel is to help the kids to discover who they are, to find their unique qualities, and to nurture and foster those, and for you guys to be inspired to do the same. So we are gonna get going on our day, and we will check back in with you when we're headed to the museum. Not warm! No! I, it's freezing cold, I am freezing! Yeah, I just barely walked out here, and just because the sun is Deceptively shining upon our faces does not mean that it's not 30 degrees out here because it is. No, it's 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 your imagination. There we are. Hear the songs in the wings. Never even knew this place existed. Ride the storms with your head held high. We own Pretty, huh? Parachute wedding dress. Made out of a parachute. 
I would totally do that. Are you kidding me? That dress would look amazing on me. Love that. So this is Utah history Native American. What do we got here? Ooh. There's both. What are these things? Prehistoric art. Oh yeah, look at that, like a mortar, mortar and pestle. Yeah, like this kind of stuff. Hmm, let's see. It's kind of different. It's a different design, but maybe it doesn't matter. Well, wait. Look at it. Feathers, it has to be in here. Yeah, it's Yeah, it's gotta be in here somewhere. A feather design pot. Is it? Yeah. I think oh it is. yeah. I think you're right. This one. Yeah. Cool. I don't think you're supposed to bang that one. It doesn't say not to though. So. Right. Ooh, a bear. What? What are you looking for? Oh, the pot. It's over there. Go look. Right underneath Oliver there. It's little. It's little, hun. Mm, I didn't see that one. I don't know. What did you find? Oh, you're just marking everything, huh? Okay. Yeah. Hands-on experience, guys. So this is where you grind corn to make cornmeal. How do you grind it? You put it on the rock and you just start push, rubbing it, pushing it. You're basically grinding these up to make the powder. Gotta push hard. I wanna try. Imagine if you had to do that every day just to eat. What? Yeah. Oh, that would be crazy, right? I did not wanna. I did That's I a lot of work. Me. Yeah. A lot of work. Yeah, it's a diorama. I'm going in here. <laughs> That's so funny, us homeschooled family. The kids have no idea what a diorama is. <laughs> We've never done anything like that. Like we had to in grade school. These are cool. I remember making stuff like this in grade school. Ooh, snake. That's an armadillo. What did you find? Ooh, eggs? Oh, I need to find the white eggs. Oh, yeah. Found eggs. I have, I have eggs. Oh, you do? Okay, that's I awesome. Have eggs. I have eggs. We have eggs. These are different than our eggs, aren't they? Those, These ones kind of look like the eggs we have at home, only they're not brown. Bud, bud, you have to, you have that egg. Look, the speckled eggs look like Easter yeah. candy. Oh, live animals. Right here. What's in there? A iguana. Oh. Yeah, it's alive. Don't bang the cage. Don't ever bang the cage. Mom, nope. this is the snake. It's an iguana. We can put this pet right over here. Look at that. Oh, wow. Yeah, so right here, you know, it's that's, that's like what Kiersey's kids have. Oh yeah. Is that a bearded dragon? Yes. Yeah, see? These guys are so cool. Ah, Morse code machine, huh? That's fun. Okay, I'm coming. Oh, I see what you mean there. You're coming with me. Oh dear. Oh dear. Okay. Oh, okay. Meet your neighbors. Meet your neighbors. Meet your neighbors. Hello. Hello there. Come out. Hey. I don't think you can close the door. I want to try. Mm -mm. Yes, I want to try. No, no it's what? not going to close. What if, what if you can... It's not got a lock on it. No. It has got a lock on it right there. I'm sure that they'll get us out. If... Okay, come on. Out. Come out now. Just for lunch. Jasper, what do you think? No. Did you find some? Ah! Halloween. 
Did you find some scary guys? No? You're not alive. <laughs> yes, they're potty pots. Yeah, there you go. One's for one and one's for two. Can I get in this jail? Dad's right here. In the jail. In the jail? Yeah. Yeah, we learned about Morse code before, haven't we? That's pretty cool. Touch it. I'll sing it while you touch it. Aurora. <gasps> Don't fall asleep. Don't die, Ruby, the sleeping beauty. <laughs> And this sewing machine like Grammy has. What? It's a bank. Lehigh Commercial Savings Bank. Why? Are you afraid of small faces? Do you have problems? No one's gonna close the door. the case. It's a case, not door. Don't press the yellow button. Just press the yellow button. It says to? Probably talk. It do yes, it does. Nope. You have to wait. Oh my god. We've been robbed. It loves fire engines. That's really cool. Yeah. The water still works. It's so old and ancient. <laughs> You're so cute, Jasper. Those are trilobites. Really, really old. <laughs> Look at this. Unintended children will be fossilized and put into a new exhibit. All right. Don't spill it everywhere. Stand on the stool, Jasper. That's what it's for. Let's go build a car yes, out, of out of rocks. So how do you use those rocks to build a car, do you think? Um, number two, they use for glass in the headlights and the windows. Number three, they use for the electronic components. Number four, they make batteries with. Number five, they make bumpers and hubcaps. Number six, they make steel for framework of the body. Number seven is for wiring in the electrical system. Animals. Why? No, because that. Because I'm looking for the binoculars. That wasn't in the animals. Okay, we'll help her find it. Mommy, right there. Ah. Straight there. There it is. Good job. Okay. That's the gift shop. This you have to have mo you have to have money for this stuff. Yeah, but you don't have any money with you. That was actually quite fun. Not not too boring at all. We thought thought maybe it would be too small, but it was actually pretty good. And they're actually um, trying to get the word out. So if you guys want to check this place out, you should because they want to expand and make it bigger, and they need more people to come and see it, and for that to happen. So you guys, definitely go check out Hutchings Museum in Lehigh, Utah. Today I ha am doing a service project for Young Women's. Um, if you don't know what Young Women's is, we are part of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. So we have like a group for all the the girls ages turn like turning 12 that year and till 18. And that my the thing I'm supposed to do is like do a service project. So we are just going to be taping notes 
to like our Who's neighbors' so doors, you know, like in our neighborhood. So let's go. So I'm gonna hang up this. Oh, and I forgot to tell you, Eloise is helping me. Hi! <laughs> so, we are doing our first pass. Yeah, and we're gonna put this. Sorry. We should knock to see if they answer. No. Okay. Let's go. Come on. The yeah, well, that's why we should put it on the door and so we knock and they see it. Whatever. The next house will do that. So, next one uh, is my friend. My she's friend actually too. in my young woman's class. And my friend is in. I wonder what she's doing for the service project. Yeah, I wonder too. It's so shiny. Okay, now it's so Wait. Okay. They're ready. I think we should knock. No. Yeah, so they can see it. You can knock, but okay, I'll I'll go far away and then you knock. Probably not home anyways. Next house. Is it? They'll see it when they come home. We're gonna figure out which house we're going to next. Because there's a lot of houses. This time, just ring the doorbell. Do it. Do it. Run. <laughs> this is fun. I don't like their dog. I hate this because this is so loud in the in the video like you, you're just constantly hearing that maybe we should tape it to the camera because <laughs> they're constantly just hearing this is the next house we know this person okay oh look get the card ready let's go both do it well like both do you want to put this one um it's your service project so yeah, they now have a security camera, so... Oh well, she'll know who it was. No, don't knock. No, just put it right here. No, because she won't see it. What house should we do now? Just go hand it to him, whatever. I'll film you. Where is he now? He's in the garage. This house right there. And that house over there. This is our house. The garage is open, so there might be hours. <laughs> you can do this. Your chicken. Chuck. Just go put it on there. It's 
Mailbox, cover up their address. That's what I'm doing. It's right oh. here too. Oh my gosh. I don't know if this is their mailbox. Me neither. But let's just put it in. Whoever it goes whoever to. Whoever goes to, good luck. Three, two, one. Now that was a mission accomplished. Boom. And the last one, we didn't even need tape. Yeah. What's the nail holding together? I don't know. Oh, okay. Open the store. All right. Well, I can't stay. Okay, well, Dave and I finished up some of the grocery shopping, and now I've got Finn. We are like, we had to like drop really quickly the groceries and then grab them, and we were trying to figure out, everybody has to be at the same place at once. I really wanted to go with Dave because I wanted to talk to you guys about the budget, but so far, we haven't had time to do that. This day has been like go from thing to thing to thing so far. So Finn is on his way for his orthodontist consultation to find out if he needs braces or what the orthodontist thinks braces could do for him. He's not super excited. Can you tell? Mm -hmm. He'd be perfectly happy to be the only one in the family to not have braces. His seems more round, like U shaped more. Yeah, his more kind of a narrower arch. So yeah. Brought it out and had him show some more teeth in the front. When he was really little, he ground his teeth so bad and they didn't come out. Yeah. He had nothing left. They were little flat lines. <laughs> it was the weirdest thing. <laughs> I don't know if he still does that. Probably he is my child. I do he it constantly. Yeah, and so I thought maybe because of that too. I don't know. Well, that was quick. Basically said exactly what I said, that his jaw, his his teeth are more pointy out here. How does that even, smile, let's see him. See how they go in like that instead of out wide? So I want him to be wide and nice and, so we can see more of them when you smile. You've always had a teeny, teeny teeth smile. His jaw is just more pinchy. I don't know why. So he said you're gonna have to wear these a lot. I hate those. They're a pain in the butt. Do you know how many times I've hit people with these trying to put them on? 
if you get them on just right and you pull it down and you don't get it when you let go, it goes, pew! I hit somebody in an airplane in August in the back of the head. All right. Well, we're already done. What time is it? I don't even know what time it is. It's time for you to watch. I wonder if we should just go home and make Oliver pick up Ronnie so I don't have to. Usually I would take you to get something, but it's no gas station January, so I can't even do that. Where is the key? We don't have to go to a gas station. So when are you getting your braces on? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. So when I take the girls in tomorrow, he is getting his put on. I can't find the keys. I better say goodbye so I can find the keys. Anyway, so check in tomorrow to see Finn getting his braces on for the first time ever. We will have a record four people in braces at once. That is a new record for me. I've had three before, but not four. That's pretty crazy. Up into you. He was getting in the car and he like, we have a, a open bulb apparently. Where is it? Why can't I make my finger go there? <laughs> There's an open bulb up there and for some strange reason he did what? Touched it? So what have, what do you got under here for your hand here? And a bag of ice water to touch. Cause you know, that's the way our life is. I decided since we finished early at the orthodontist that I was gonna rush home and go with these guys so that Dave and I could go to the store together. We didn't think about the fact that that means that the little kids have to come. That means we have to take them with us to cash and carry. It's actually smart food service. It used to be cash and carry. That's why I keep saying that. Sorry about that, buddy. Gonna be okay? It's too cold? Put the napkin on it. That's why I put the towel there. Put the napkin over the top and then put your finger on it. Yeah. Just lay your whole hand on it. Yeah, there you go. Want to show the seekers your finger? See how bad it is? We have to blister. hurry. Look at that. We have to hurry, Mom. No, we don't have to hurry. We'll be fine. He's like, Mom, I don't have time to show them my finger. That's a really good price for apples, isn't it? Hey, what kind of these? Galas? This is like double the apples that Walmart sells for the same price. Mommy, I think we should get some. We're going into the fridge. You ready to go into the fridge? Here we go. Everybody in. Try not to freak out. <laughs> Push. <coughs> Uh huh. Not that cold, huh? Yeah. Oh yeah, I get those ones. Yeah, that works. Oh, there's one bag left. Woohoo! Twelve seventy nine. For ten pounds. Yeah, that's pretty good. It's not bad. Yeah. But it hasn't. It's not too bad. My budget for ground beef is thirty. So just one. Yeah. Ten pounds. Sure. My sunscreen is going to get better when we're in here. Your burn's going to get better. It doesn't hurt in here because it's cold. Well, at least there's a benefit to it somehow. Woo! <laughs> Here we go. Here, you take your coat off so you can put your belt back on, buddy. I'm glad it doesn't hurt at the moment. It will start hurting again, I promise. That's how burns are. As Soon as it warms up in the car, you're gonna be like, ah, turn off the heat. In fact, maybe we better turn the heat off. Okay, so, ugh, budget update. We're really trying here, we're trying. Budget update. So how is the budget going? We are one month, almost one month in. Today is January 27th. We really began our budgeting about January 3rd. 
So we're at 24 days budgeted. At this point, we've budgeted now an entire month's worth of money. What are some things we have learned in the budgeting experience here, Dave? What are some things we have learned this month? He needs more money. He needs more money? Okay. Huh. That is, that's a joke, but kind of, you know, you realize, when you realize how much you're spending on just the stuff you used to just spend on and not think about it, it's a little bit more daunting when you realize you're spending a lot more. So that's one thing I have learned about budgeting. We started with Jordan Page's $1,100 budget. So that's basically $100 per month per person for groceries. Did that work out for us? Not really. No, in fact, I believe our grand total is going to be over two thousand dollars. The star cut. Good chance. Because the very first week we gave ourselves a lot of budget, and then we realized that the replenishing stuff cost as much as we thought it would, like way more than we thought. Anyway, we over budgeted the first week, we under budgeted the other three weeks, so we had to change our budget midstream. It's now sitting at $340 um, a 10 day period. So what's that end up being? About $1,400, a little less than $1,400 for the whole month is basically, is that right? No, yeah, $340 times four. Two paychecks. That's a little more than a month, but yeah. That's how we had to work it. That's the second thing we learned. The second thing we learned is we can't use Jordan Page's budget the week and go buy the stuff for the week. It just did not work that way for us. It just makes more sense for us to divide it up into 10 day chunks instead of week chunks. So that's what we did the last paycheck and that worked a little bit better. And shockingly, we just went shopping and even though Dave got paid a full week ago, we still had the money in the account to go shopping. So that's, I hate to say it, that's a that's actually a miracle. That does, Usually we don't hold on to money very long. Usually Dave gets paid, we spend it. Three days later, it's gone. And I'm, I'm messaging Dave saying, oh, out of money, don't buy anything, don't need anything, don't do anything. And that hasn't worked for us. But we're still working on figuring out all of the things that we have to put money into and like the long-term bills and we do have money coming in soon that will be a larger than what we're used to and we have to figure out what we're going to do with it that's been really hard for me is figuring out which job to give the dollar i've had a couple of anxiety attacks over that but all in all i feel like we've been pretty successful for our first month nothing was late everything got paid we did have a couple of things where we had to switch things around but we were able to do that and we actually were able to pay for our ticket or our hotel for our competition coming up and we have in our Amazon cart tires finally and we are buying the tires today. So we made it. We made it all the way through January. Our first month of budgeting is down. We're almost done with no gas station January and we all survived. Dave actually went to the gas station though. Yeah, but he used money. He used his own budget for that. I did not stop at the gas station and use my own budget for that. Because I learned that it wasn't worth it to spend the money on that. <laughs> All right, well there's your budget update. Now we gotta go to Winco for the last of our caffeine because we cannot live without Dave's rock stars and we haven't been able to find any, any rock stars um, at any of the stores we've gone to. So we're gonna go grab his rock stars and then we are done for the month of January with every bit of the money that we were gonna spend. You got hiccups again. Mm -hmm. What are we gonna do? How are you gonna close the vlog? How to get rid of hiccups? You had to kiss on the cheek. Oh, I have to kiss you on the cheek to get rid of hic hiccups, huh? I don't know if I can reach from my chair. You have to go over here. Did it work? Close the vlog, and we'll see. <laughs> See? Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and seek your truth. Bye, see you later. Bye,